इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी प्रेजेंट्स अ प्रोग्राम ऑन डिप्लोमा इन बिजनेस प्रोसेस आउटसोर्सिंग फाइनेंस एंड अकाउंटिंग कोर्स कोड बी पी ओ लेट्स लिसन टू अ प्रोग्राम ऑन प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स The participants are Professor Anju Sehgal Gupta, Ruby Singh, Rosalind, Sapna, Chandra Bhushan Sandhyal, and Navin Pandita. Block five, presentation skills. Unit twenty, twenty point three. Listening. Tape script. The thought of public speaking fills many people with fear and anxiety. One way to overcome this is by making sure that you are familiar with your subject and content. In the case of presentations, PowerPoint plays an important role in guiding you through the content of your presentation with the help of headlines and graphics. When you move to a new slide, the headline prompts you about what to say next. This also helps the audience to understand what you want to convey. PowerPoint also offers you the advantage of illustrating your headlines with the help of graphics like bar diagrams, pie charts, graphs, tables, pictograms, etc. While these visuals help you to cope with more complex information of data, statistics and trends, they also enable the audience to comprehend intricate information on performance comparisons predictions more easily in other words they help you to gain the focused attention of your audience and alleviate your fear and anxiety however a few precautions are necessary never fill your slides with too many graphic elements and animation effects these can become a source of distraction It is best to choose simple designs. The key thing here is preparation. Plan the outline of your presentation carefully so that it's well structured. Make sure that all your headings and subheadings are up on the slides and adequately and appropriately illustrated. Go through your slides several times so that you're absolutely familiar with them. You will generate a deep confidence that dispels anxiety and fear. and helps you to enjoy your own presentation pronunciation falling tone statements my name is ramu i'm a teacher of mathematics my sister has a degree in science i want to buy a kilo of tomatoes the train's running late today i can speak arabic Honesty is the best policy. My daughter goes to a good school. Five times five is twenty-five. My sister bought a television set. Raju is fond of music. My father has been admitted to hospital. Swimming is an excellent exercise. The regional language of Karnataka is Kannada. My uncle is a professor of chemistry. I've never seen the Taj Mahal. Delhi is the capital of India. I eat some cucumber with every meal. There are over 20,000 books in our library. India is the largest democracy in the world. WH questions. What's your name? Where do you live? When is your birthday? Who's the author of this book? How's your mother? Which one is yours? Why are you late every day? Who do you live with? What have you got in your pocket? Why does your father work? What do you do for a living? When is the next bus to Lucknow? Where did you keep the book? Why is Mary absent? Where did you spend the summer? Exclamations. What a beautiful building. How extraordinary. How stupid of me. 
What a glorious sunrise. How pathetic. How delightful. What a tall tree. What a delicious cake. What a remarkable achievement. What a gorgeous piece of jewelry. D. Orders, commands. Shut the door. Go away. Go and post this letter. Send him away. Put these dirty slippers in the bathroom. Open the window. Do this at once. Shut up. Use a fountain pen. Unit 21. Presentation Skills 2. Outlines and Structures. 21.4. Listening. Tape Script. Good morning, Mr. Bala. A very good morning to you. First of all, I'd like to begin by asking you how one should be preparing for a presentation. You must focus your presentation by determining its purpose and the audience to whom you will present it. You must then find and gather the facts that will support your point of view and proposal. Finally, you need to organize the information logically. How should one organize a presentation? Your presentation should have a clear, coherent structure and cover the points you wish to make in a logical order. Most presentations start with a brief introduction and end with a brief conclusion. Use the introduction to welcome the audience, introduce the subject and outline the structure of your talk. Use the conclusion to summarize the main points of your presentation. Thank the audience for the attention and invite questions. When should one use visual aids? If you have a lot of information to explain, don't hesitate to use visual aids. Think about using some charts, diagrams, graphs, etc. on PowerPoint, an overhead projector or flip chart. Is there any other advice you can give us on preparation? Yes. Practice your presentation. By practicing, you will be able to identify the weak points and to check the timing. Rehearsal will give you more confidence. A very common problem with most presenters is nerves. How can we overcome this? You will be probably nervous at the beginning of your presentation. Try not to speak too fast at the beginning. It has two advantages. You can calm down and strike a good rapport with the audience. The first impression is very important. And what about body language? Try to avoid mannerism, but eye contact and gestures are indispensable. And lastly, how does one deal with a difficult audience? Be ready to deal with any question, even with hostile ones, without losing your cool. Polite, diplomatic answers are a good tactic. Mr. Bala, thank you very much for these valuable tips on presentations. You're welcome. Activity 4 1. Registrations for courses have increased from last year, but the profits have hardly moved at all. 2. It's hard to enter the Middle East market, but it's harder still to break into the European market. 3. There are three points I'd like to make, and all three are about our attitude to our customers. 4. We haven't made big gains yet, but whatever we've achieved is quite significant. Five. We have made inroads into the East Zone, but the North Zone is still lagging behind. 6. Tourist facilities in the region have improved considerably, but we still have a long way to go. 7. Better training facilities are not just important, they are an absolute must. 8. Customers have a right to expect follow-up. We are the ones who have failed them. Nine. The market may be growing, but our market share certainly isn't. 10. We need to give more paid leave to our employees. That is the only way to ensure they have enough time to de-stress. Unit 22. Presentation Skills 3. Using Visual Aids. 22.6. Listening. Tape Script. It is generally believed and experienced that people learn more readily through visuals than through text or the spoken word. 
They also tend to retain more information when learning is reinforced by visualization. Visuals are an integral part of presentations. Hence, it's essential to understand the role and impact of visuals and to know when and how to use them. Visuals in presentations should be used to support the spoken or written word and not in place of it. A well-developed concept and effective script are the first prerequisites of any presentation. Once the concept evolves and takes shape, visuals are developed around it to support, elucidate or illustrate the concept. Visuals are an extremely useful tool to communicate concepts that are complex in nature or difficult to grasp. Remember that you use visuals to facilitate understanding of complex ideas or concepts. This is possible only when your visuals are simple, clear and concise. Additionally, the entire audience must be able to see your visual images clearly from where they are seated. This means that they must be large enough to be seen without causing any strain. A common problem with presenters, especially beginners, is information overload. They tend to use and illustrate all information collected for the presentation, thereby cramming the slides with text and visuals. A single idea or set of facts per image, timed to the speaker's pace, will add punch and emphasis to each important idea, assuring maximum retention by the listeners. Unit 22. Now listen to the examples. A. Yes, no questions. Yes, no question is one which can be answered in yes or no. 1. Is father at home? 2. Can I see the dean for a minute? 3. Can you buy me an ice cream, mummy? 4. Will you show me your new atlas? 5. Can I borrow your record player? 6. Can you drive? 7. Can you cook? 8. Would it be possible to spend the night here? 9. Is the Ahmedabad Express arriving on time? 10. Is there any recording today? B. WH questions asked warmly. 1. What is your father? 2. Where do you live? 3. How is mother? 4. Where did you leave your book? 5. How old are you? 6. Which is yours? 7. When did you come? 8. Where are you going? 9. Who did you talk to? C. Incomplete utterances. All the examples cited below have two tone groups each. The end of the first tone group is marked. See how the first of the two tone groups in each sentence is said with a rising tone. 1. If you go to Delhi, please meet my aunt. 2. I went to the market this morning and bought a lot of vegetables. 3. As soon as you reach London, give this letter to the High Commission. 4. When my father died, I was only 5 years old. 5. If I see him, I shall give him a piece of my mind. 6. The moment you're ready, please phone me. 7. I don't mind eating anywhere, provided the place is clean. 8. If you get drenched in the rain, you're likely to fall ill. 9. I was terribly hurt when my father called me a fool. 10. If at all it's possible, I shall meet you at the station. 11. Indira Gandhi National Open University is the first of its kind in India. 12. You can go to the study centre in your region and discuss your problems with your counsellor there. 13. If you want to acquire a good pronunciation, you should listen to our audio tapes. 14. Madam President will inaugurate the new buildings. 
15. Laugh, and the world laughs with you. 16. If you're naughty, daddy will punish you. 17. Whenever you're in doubt, please consult a good dictionary. 18. As a matter of fact, I forgot to phone Mina. 19. Because of the efforts of the police, the thieves were caught. 20. The earlier you finish, the earlier you can go. D. Polite requests. 1. Pass the salt. 2. Close that window. 3. Lend me a rupee. 4. Shut the door. 5. Please carry my bag. 6. Buy me some flowers. 7. Bring some lunch for me. 8. Give me some water. 9. Fetch me an umbrella. 10. Buy me a new pen, Daddy. Unit 23. Presentation Skills 4. The Ending. 23.5. Listening. Tape Script. And what type of situations should one be wary of? Sometimes it may happen that one questioner keeps on asking questions and does not allow others to participate. It's the job of the presenter to tackle such a situation and prevent the person from taking over the session. Others may have their own agenda and will ask a question intended to promote themselves or their own views. Some may not have paid attention and will ask a question you've already covered in your presentation or in one of your other answers. Some may ask totally irrelevant questions. Some may be downright hostile. So how does one deal with such situations? If someone starts to dominate a Q&A session, respond to the first question or comment, then move on to include other people in the interaction. The same approach helps in dealing with people with personal agendas. If someone missed something you said in your presentation, you could repeat it briefly. It's possible others may have missed it too. If the question is totally irrelevant, let the questioner know that you would like to keep the discussion focused on the subject. And what happens if someone keeps interrupting your presentation with questions? You must deal with this politely but firmly. Let the questioner know that you will be glad to take up his or her questions at the end of the presentation. What happens if questions keep pouring in? It is recommended that you set a limit to the question time and let the audience know about that when you begin question time. What if there are no questions? This can be extremely embarrassing and must be dealt with tactfully. Go back to a specific or interesting point you made in your presentation, one that's likely to stimulate discussion. Ask your listeners what they think. Do they agree with you? Do they have other opinions? This generally helps to elicit responses. Is it a good idea to end your presentations with a Q&A session? While it's great to keep the questions until after you've spoken, you must make sure that you have the last word, literally. When you've answered questions, be sure to end your presentation with a strong assertion of your main message. Unit 23, 23.8.1, following tone, 1. The following type of sentences are generally said with the following tone. A. Statements which are neutral, matter-of-fact, complete and assertive. Examples. They're arriving tomorrow. I think she's a brilliant writer. He's always punctual. B. Commands. Examples. Put that gun down. Open the shutters. Telephone the police immediately. C. Invitations. Examples. To come in and sit down. May I invite you to dinner next Saturday? How would you like to spend the weekend with me? D. Exclamations. Examples. What a beautiful painting. Absolutely fascinating. Goodness gracious. Wasn't it a marvellous concert? E. WH questions which are neutral and intended to be neither polite 
nor impolite. Examples. Where has he gone? How many languages can you speak? When can I come and see you? Who is at the door? F. Tag questions. Examples. You're going with us, aren't you? She's rather late, isn't she? 23.8.2 Rising Tone The rising tone is used in A. Yes, no type questions. Are they coming to tea? Have you finished your work? B. Alternative questions. Do you like tea, coke or lime juice? Shall we go by air or by train? C. The falling tone and the falling rising tone can also be used for enumeration. 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, 21, 22. D. Requests. Could you tell me what time the train arrives? Come here for a moment. E. Non-terminal tone unit. If you want to succeed. Whenever it rains. As soon as he arrives. F. Terminal tone unit said as an afterthought. I'll come and help you if you like. We are not at home on Sundays generally. G. Non-polarity type or WH questions expressing politeness, friendliness, personal interest. Where do you live? How's your mother? H. A repetition question which repeats someone else's question or wants them to repeat some information. Raman told me about it. Who told you? We are invited to dinner tomorrow. What did you say? I. Commands intended to sound like a request. Shut the window. Don't play on the railway line. Take all this away. J. Statement intended to be a question. He's not coming? You don't want any more? You are listening to a program on presentation skills. Content coordinator, Professor Anju Sehgal Gupta. Program coordinator, Dr. Geetika Johari. Audio recording, Parvesh Kumari. Editing Naeem Akhtar Producer Manoj Bhatnagar This program was brought to you by Electronic Media Production Center of Indira Gandhi National Open University.